wanted to create an Excel chart that displayed two distinctly different kinds of data. For instance, I've got a sample chart here, which is looking at about 15 different employees. And I want to compare sales figures, which are all over 100,000, and years of service figures, which are all less than 20. So when you want to, sh when, when you want to chart data that's extremely different like this, it's kind of difficult because uh, the chart can't display little numbers and big numbers all in the same axis. axes. So I want to create a chart that has two axes. Now this is pretty easily done in Excel 2003 as there's a default template for it. And so it's gonna, it took me a little bit of trial and error and a little bit of help search to do this in Excel 2007. To get a little bit of an insight, I did use Excel help and I used column line two axes. I want to create a combination column and line chart with two different axes. And I use this to get some basic information and then just a little bit of trial and error just to get it to work the way I wanted it to work. So there's my help file and I'll just kind of take that off to the side for now. And let me go ahead and create a, a simple column chart. First, I'll select all of my data. I'm going to insert a column chart, regular column chart. So now I have a chart showing sales and years of service. But since my, year, my years of service numbers are also small, all under 20, they don't even show up on the chart because my smallest uh, incremental value is 50,000. So this isn't a good way to go. So based on the information in my help file that I searched on Excel 2007, I'm going to see if I can't create two axes. Now, my years ser series is available. I just can't really see it here. So to access it, I'm going to go to, I'm in my chart area. My chart is active. So you see I have the chart tools up here with a design, a layout, and a format tab. And my help file even tells me this. Click on the chart. My chart is active. Um, on the format tab, okay, I can use the current selection group. So over here, so now that I've got the format tab selected, I can go over to the left. Right now my chart area is active, but I want to make my series years the active item. And then I'm going to format that selection. And I want to, I'm in the series options, and I want to plot the series not on the primary axes, but on the secondary axes and then close. Perfect. So now I have a chart with two axes. I've got my sales figures on the left. I've got years of service on the right, all my employees. Now this is actually kind of an interesting way to display this chart. I can now see that a particular, for instance, employee number one, they've had relatively few years of experience compared to the other employees, yet their sales, the blue figure, the, the blue series is actually quite large. So it looks like this particular employee, despite having less years of experience, has had a greater number of sales, and that's confirmed by my original data. I want to change this a little bit. Instead of sh looking at two column charts together, I want a column and a line chart combined. So now that I can see my blue or my red years of experience, I can click on that, activate those, and I can change the, tar the chart type by going back to the design tab within my chart tools, change chart type, and this one will be a line, but it's not going to change the whole chart. It's just going to change the years, and I'll make that a line, click OK. Here we go. So now my sales figures are the blue columns, and my years figures are the red line. And once again, I can start to see things. People with high years of experience having low sales, people with low years of experience having high sales. So I now have a column line chart using two axes.